Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to our Heavenly Father, our highest power, Yahweh, and His beloved Son, Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Kal Halal, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rekha Kudash. We give double honors. We always give double honors to our beloved teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers. Pushing this one and only true doctrine throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel and Shalom to the 144 <clears throat> governing body of men, Shalom to the, the hopeful elect, the one third of men, women and children. All the praises forever given to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. This is just a short exaltation. Hmm. I tell you what, Satan would try his best to try to hold you down. But you have to fight, you know, you have to put on that armor. That spiritual body armor. You know, resist the devil and he shall flee. And here I want to talk about too late to apologize. And we're going to get into that now. It's going to be too, it's not going to be. It's too late to apologize. It's not going to be too late. It is already too late. Right? So this is going to be a short one. Through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Revelation 13 and 9 to 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Let's go to Romans 15 verse 4. For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So we're going to see who is who in a minute. For whatsoever things were written a four time. Let's go into that word a four time. Strong's G forty two seventy paragrapho paragrapho. A four time, right? Right, right. A four time. Right afar, evidently set forth before ordain. So, this is already ordained through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai that he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right? Let's go back. So this is ordained. Okay. So 
So for whatsoever things were written aforetime, right, were written for our learning, that we through patience, who is the we, right? Who is the we? Let's go here. Ecclesiastes 45, verse 17. He gave unto him his commandments and authority in the statutes of judgments, that he should teach Jacob the testimonies and inform Israel in his laws. Right? So the who the laws given to? The laws are given to Israel. All right? So start again. For whatsoever things were written aforetime, yes, were written for our learning that we through patience, okay, patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right? Patience. We go back to the first part. Revelation 13, verse 9 to 10. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Right? Remember, it's, a, it's about Jacob and Esau. Esau knows what's going on. Because remember, as our apostles have taught us this, in order to tell a lie, you have to know the truth. Right? I repeat that again. In order to tell a lie, you need to know the truth. So they know. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. All right? Listen now. Go back into Romans now. So I'll finish here. Patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. All right? Listen. Remember. <clears throat> Listen to this. There's not much said about captivity. All right? He that leadeth in captivity. But let's go into the definition of captivity. It says the condition of being imprisoned or confined. Here's some other words. Imprisonment. Does that ring a bell? Yeah? Confinement. We talk about those the slave ships, like sardines. Inter intimate. Inter. Can I see that? Inter, inter internment, right? Inseration, custody, detention, restraint, right? Arrest, bond, bondage, slavery. You see? Servitude, enslavement, yeah? Subjection. There's some, those are the words, okay? Let's go back. So like I'm a little bit slow today, that's why I tell you what, Satan will try to hold you back. Yeah? He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. All right? Who led us into captivity? Esau led Jacob into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Now, everything is written for our learning. Everything is written for our learning. Right? A four time. It was already preordained. So this is going to come to pass. All right? We were put into slavery, all right? And we're going to be released. We've been released out of slavery. But whoever put us into slavery will go into slavery, which is captivity. 
So whatever they did to us, right, the tables are going to be turned. Right? And listen to me. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. You remember before? Right? Because there's a thing called, there, there is such thing called reincarnation. We were back then during slavery. We were back then when we used to say, swing low, swing chariot. Swing low, sweet chariot. We were those same people begging our Lord with patience. All right? Let's go to the word patience. So like if you're jumping around. Patience. Strong's G, 5281. Upon my name. He says patience, enduring, patient, continuance. Patient waiting. You see? Steadfastness. Constancy. Endurance. Right? Um, patiently, steadfast. Um, waiting for. A patient, enduring, sustaining, perseverance. And this is what we are going through. Swing low, sweet chariot. We are waiting for those chariots to come back. Lord willing, if we are the elect to carry us home. Swing low, sweet chariot. All right? So it's too late to apologize. It's too late because this has already been written and this has already been ordained from the beginning. Right? The scriptures. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be, must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Okay? Because the, the, the scriptures were written for the saints, for the, for the Hebrew Israelites. Right? This is a short one. Proverbs 1 verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh. Going back to the first re in revelations. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Oh yes, they, they, they've heard. Because if they know they have a short time, that means they know what is coming. They know what's coming. But because of pride, because the Lord put the pride in them, they're thinking, no, we're getting away with it day by day, year after year. All right? Generation after generation. So the Lord must be with us. But the Lord put the pride in them. If any man have an ear, let him hear. And this is twofold because this, this is actually referring to the two-thirds also. Because they've heard too. They've also heard. Right? I will also laugh at your calamity. I will, <clears throat> I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me. All right? So although <laughs> the laws were not given unto them, right? When they see the, the, the terror of the Lord, they're going to call upon the Lord to, you know. They're going to call and then they will know that who am I chosen? Then they're going to know who were the, were the Lord's chosen. And this applies to the two-thirds too. 
because they've been rebellious. But he that led us into captivity will also go into captivity. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh up as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come, cometh up upon you, then shall they call upon me, <laughs> but I will not answer. This is why we have to try and get it right, even ourselves. We have to endure to the end. We have to endure to the end. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. All right? But this is written. This is all written. This will come to pass. You remember, the Lord our power has the last word. He has the last say, and he has the last laugh. You remember this, the, 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 the saying goes, he that laughs last, laughs best. <laughs> the Lord our power, Yahweh Basham Yahshai, is saving the best for the last. He is saving the best for last. And that's why the Lord has to do everything, right? In, in sequence. Everything has to be done in sequence, in perfection. All right? In perfection, in precision. That's how the Most High, our power, Yahweh Basham Yahshai, works. Esau Edom makes mistakes. They try to they try to be like the Lord. And they make mistakes. There is no mistake with the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahshai. There's no mistake. Then they shall call upon me. Right? They're gonna call. But I will not answer. They will shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Remember the scripture it says, you know, um paraphrasing, um, when destruction comes, you know. They're going to beg the Lord, please let these rocks, I'm just paraphrasing, please let these rocks fall upon me so they could hide. You can't hide from the Heavenly Father. We cannot hide from the Heavenly Father. We cannot hide. Okay? You could run, but you can't hide. And the Lord is so terrible. You talk about running, the law could remove your legs that you can't even run. If a bear met him. If a bear met him. Right? And you think that you're all safe and you lean your hand on a wall. You think you're safe. This is why the Lord our power is going to have the last and the best laugh. And he's going to use the prophets to laugh too. Because if the Lord's going to put the spirit in his prophets, if he's going to put, when the Lord is ready to lift up a standard, you're going to, the, the elect are going to laugh. Then they're going to say, oh, now I know. <laughs> now I know who are the Lord's chosen. Yeah? So, Esau, it is too late to apologize. There's no point. That's why the apostles always said to us, you know, in the beginning, just enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. Revelations 13, verse 9 to 10. If any man have an heir, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Right? Let's go into that word leadeth. Let's go into the word leadeth. He that leadeth. We know the word captivity. 
So like he was jumping around, I totally forgot. He that leadeth. Strong's G, 4863. Sunago. Sunago. He that leadeth, he that gather. Be gathered together. Gather together. Come together. Be gathered. Be assembled. Take in. Okay? Listen now. Gather together, draw together, collect of the net which they are caught. What they did, they caught us and round us up in those nets. Right? To lead with oneself. Okay? So we know what that means. Leadeth. To gather. They gathered us together all up there. They rounded us up. And you see they have another, they're gonna they're gonna do it as another time. They're gonna try it when when because they know they have a short time. Okay? They know that they have a short time. And they're gonna try it again. Right? And they're gonna come more sophisticated now. Okay? They're going to use the RFID chip to try to gather everyone together to have full control. But when they're about to fill their belly, when they're about to fill their belly, this is all prophecy. Sudden destruction. Yeah? When they are about to fill their belly. So anyway, but it is too late to apologize. Okay? Too late. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Swing low, sweet chariot. Swing low, sweet chariot. Swing low, sweet chariot. Lord willing, if we are in that number, Yahawashai is going to carry us home. Shalom.